there, this is Cher Pindarvis, artist and author of the Painter Wow books and the Artist Tablet books. This video covers a concise overview of selected features in Painter 2019 for Essentials users. Painter 2019 offers an incredible array of natural media brushes and special media. For example, real watercolor and thick paint. The brushes are accessed from the brush selector and as you can see there are many brush categories. Right now the pens and pencils are chosen and the real 2B pencil is chosen. In an upcoming video we'll demonstrate real watercolor and thick paint. As you can see many exciting brush categories are in the brush selector. Painter 2019 allows artists to customize layouts and panels. As you can see here underneath the window menu we have workspaces, we have layouts, you can save a layout, you can switch layouts, palette drawers, and custom palettes, and we are going to go over making up a custom layout and a custom palette in an upcoming video. Painter 19 also features more exciting photo painting options, such as using multiple clone sources and clone painting with a wide variety of brushes and more. Let's go up to the window menu and come down and choose Clone Source. The Clone Source panel opens as part of the Photo Art palette drawer. Here you see it at the top. Then we have the Painter Patterns and the Photo Painting Panels, Under Painting, Auto Painting, and Restoration. And we'll cover these in more detail in an upcoming video. Painter 19 also features exciting media panels such as color that we see right here, the mixer with which we can mix color by selecting color here, applying it with the apply color tool, and mixing it with the mix color tool as you see. Painter 2019 also features color set libraries, for example the painter colors that you see right here. Exciting media panels such as paper textures, patterns, and flow maps are located under the window menu. So I'm going to go down here, see you see the color panels that we have them displayed. So we have check marks to the left of them, brush control panels, paper panels, media library panels, textures, patterns, gradients, nozzles, looks, weaves, images and selections, and media control panels for those, and flow map panels. And flow maps are wonderful to work with when you're painting with real watercolor or real wet oil. Lastly, one of my favorite features in Painter 2019 is the reference image panel. And you see I've opened it here on our left. You can access the reference image panel from the window menu and if you follow down here you'll see reference image right below the clone source panel. The reference image panel can be scaled for your needs. I'm going to pull here on the three little dots at the bottom and you can also scale the width by pulling here on the side. You see the little four arrows come up there. Uh, you can sample color from the reference image and use it on your artwork. You see the dropper tool. There's the magnifier. Select the magnifier. I can zoom into my image and then the grabber hand allows us to pan within our image. And if we want to throw away an image that we have imported, we can clear current reference image by clicking the trash can icon. I often use the reference image when I'm sketching using the pencils or the watercolor for instance. I just want to mention how to import a new image to the reference image panel. We click here, open reference image. You see the menu pop up, navigate to the area on your computer where you have the image that you want stored, click on it, 
and then click Open. I really enjoy using the reference image feature. The painting that I have on screen is called In the Barrel and it was painted from scratch from a memory of a surfing experience that I had. And to paint this image, I used the oils and the acrylics brushes. As you can see, Painter 2019 has a vast array of creative tools for artists. Enjoy and happy painting! Thank you.